Mr. Brian Brands will be performing the national anthem. And Bob Wolf, I understand that we do have another uh, little rarity here, or not rarity, but a little sideline observation that you yourself happen to be a classmate of Tommy Prokos at Duke back in 1942. That's right. He was a great athlete there, uh, not only in football, played other sports as well, baseball. Just taking a look at two boots down, I see that Tommy is perched up there with the sound apparatus. And how does that work down on the bench, Bob? You have an opportunity to observe the Hollywood State during the year. Well, he, of course, will sit in the uh, booth and use just the regular telephone and headset and work with an assistant coach down on the bench. And uh, he'll have the three fellows. He'll use his three tight ends, Len Perkovich, Doug McDougall, and uh, Sullivan, to rotate and to uh, bring the plays in. So these fellows will be right by the coach with the phone down there. The officials are meeting with the team captains for the toss of the coin right now. The referee today is Edward Wagner, the umpire, Ed Herbert, the headlinesman, Ted Spearing, the field. We're getting set now for the kickoff to start the Rose Bowl game, and here it comes. It's a long one going deep. It's carrying down three yards deep in the end zone. Being run out by Ward to the 15, to the 20. And they give this time to Mr. Ward going up the left side. Can't find a hole hit as he approaches that right tackle spot. And he's hit hard and down after barely getting into the line of scrimmage and falling forward for perhaps a half yard. Big George Carr, just a sophomore, 200 pounder, and Jack Mad Dog. And this time, Ward is flanked out of the left as Timberlake rolls out to his right, looks for a receiver. Goes, hits the receiver, Anthony. And Anthony slips as he goes along the sideline and falls down just about a yard or so. Perhaps he got across that sideline. Yes, they say that he was hit at the 26-yard line. And out of bounds there, and the ball is brought in to the inbound marker of the 26-yard line. Wide to the left on the uh, left spot. There's a quick pass over the middle, incomplete. Timberlake intended for Ward, and Ward was jostled by Wall and Sieg, and the pass was incomplete. It was a shorty. Then just to pick up that yard for a first down on the near sideline to Austin, it's incomplete. So it's fourth down coming up, four to go. The ball's in the 26 yard line. 26 for the third and four. Their punting specialist, Stan Kemp goes back into punt formation. It's a modified spread punt formation. One man deep blocking for him. Here's Kemp's boot. Gets off of Judy. Look at that one go. Fair catch is signal for Oregon State takes over on their own 36 as Dan Esplin signal for a fair catch. And with that booming punt high up in the air, giving the uh, M's a line of plenty of a chance to get underneath it. Esplin took no chances. He is signaled to the Rose Bowl game from Pasadena, California. Over 100,000 people are on hand for this classic. Brothers is the quarterback. And in motion now goes the halfback Watkins. His brothers goes back to pass and he pulls high incomplete. Ended for Moreland, the uh, end going out on the play, the uh, split halfback, I should say. And it goes incomplete. It'll be second and ten. Rick Volk, a fine pass defender, guarding for Michigan on the play. And now we have a change in the ends that Oregon State used for the uh, first play. In motion now goes Watkins, and the give this time is to the fullback. Washington has a fumble on the play. Thirty. 
from the opposition with his height. He pitches back to Jetweiler. Jetweiler goes off the right side this time, moves forward to the 27-yard line, where Obilovich again comes in for the stop. It's Obilovich, aided on the play by number 37, Dan C., who came up with the left pass back spot. Took over the ball in the 41 in OSU territory, and they're now moving. And this time it's Ward who shifts his way off the left side, gets inside the 25 to the 24-yard line, tackled by Al East, the big right end of the Oregon State University Beavers. Uh, out of the ball game for Michigan comes their defensive end. Third and coming up, four to go. The ball at the 24 in Oregon State territory. Timberlake rolls out to his left. He takes the ball, and he is pulled down from behind. Timberlake this time has to the free throw first down. 
Henderson picked up two first downs in a row. John Henderson, who is a 6'3", 185 pound senior, it's a first down. And this time, it's a plunge through the center by Mel Anthony as Anthony gets to the 38. Norm Witten came in that time, along with Dick Rule for the stop for Oregon State. Second down coming up. Eight yards to go. The ball right now points. The top rusher on the team taking that ball. Triple H slides to his left. Now he circles back to his right. back to pass, Watts throws down the middle, and it's a good one again. This time to Moreland. He is put back to his tackle and his pass to the 32 yard line as Rick Trigger comes up to make the stop. Paul Brothers going to the air. Moreland, the split back, he is a uh, for the Oregon State Beavers on the Michigan 33. In motion goes Watkins, who's the fullback. Brothers goes back to pass. One 
second to go. And that's the end of the first quarter with the score, Michigan nothing, Oregon State nothing. Timberlake goes back to pass. He falls out of it. Complete. 
to Ferebee, the big end, who was immediately spilled in his track. All fellow to Smith surrounding Ferebee, big number 80. It's the first down for Michigan on the 43 yard line of Oregon State. Smith wide to the right. This time the give is to Carl Ward. He again comes off the left side and comes forward to the 41 yard line. Smith, number 36, and Obilovich, number 55, both in on the play for Oregon State. Right, in the right end spot. And this time, the uh, plunge is by Anthony as he goes off the right side, met by Rosario and Gould of the uh, Oregon State Beavers on the uh, left side of the line. It'll be third down coming up, and six to go on the ball right now is on the 38-yard line. Third and six to go. Pass play, brothers to McDougal, quick for a touchdown. Timberlake has this incomplete to Henderson. And so that means it'll be fourth down coming up, Bob. We've seen quite a bit of passing all of a sudden out here, uh, Bob, and we might note that for Michigan, Timberlake now has completed four out of six, while for Oregon State, Paul Brothers, to boot, it's fourth and four in this punting situation. There's the snap from center. Kemp angles it toward the sideline. It hits and goes out of bounds. And it will be uh, brought in from out of bounds and spotted at the 14-yard line as Oregon State takes over at this point. And this time, it's the gift to Watkins, who is hit hard by the right side of the Michigan line and thrown for a loss in the play. Coming in from the linebacker spot, Patrick Drew, Nunley, and Shakini, the two linebackers, and the uh, loss in the play of one yard. Field on the play. Berkitich now leaves the ball game. McDougal comes in at that end spot. It'll be second and ten. Ball at the 28 yard line. Oregon State holds a 7 0 lead. This time, Grimm is a split left end. In motion goes Watkins. Brothers back to pass. Looks for more. Now looks for McDougal. And his pass is short to McDougal. Incomplete. McDougal tried to trap that one, but it was incomplete, so a new unit is now coming in for Oregon State with third and ten. And Sigurd is a lone safety for Michigan. It's a third and ten situation here. There's a beautiful spiral forward on field. Sigurd takes it on the 20. He's back to the 25, up to the sideline, gets to the 30, and is hit along the sideline at the 30 as he's marching around to the 31-yard line. Esplin came up to make that tackle, a 52-yard kick that time, a flag on the play. Looks like a clipping penalty. Against the Michigan Wolverines, Down drive. Oregon State leading 7 0. Kimberley pitches out to Sun Anthony. Anthony up the right side, finds the hole. It's the
81 held by Bob Jeter of Iowa against California in 1959. So with 6.34 left in the first half, it's Oregon State leading Michigan 7-6 and we're set for the kickoff. Timberlake approaches the ball. There's the boot. It's going down to the three-yard line. We're taken by Watkins. Watkins right back to middle of the 15.
two-pointer as Trimble goes back to pass. He pulls and is knocked down as Allie East knocks down the pass intended for Ben Farabee. So Michigan goes in front by a score of 12 to 7 in the ball game, and here's Bob Blackburn. the defensive tackle and guard for Michigan. So Michigan out of front by a 12 to 7 score. It was amazing to see the way the field and he got free there with the rest of the way to score. Brothers rolls out on the option, keeps the ball, and he's hit as he goes to the 28 yard line. Coming in was Yearby along with Simkus. Also in was Conley for the Michigan Wolverines. We have a minute and 58 seconds left to go in the first half. Michigan leading Oregon State 12 to 7 in the ball game. In second formation, brothers call signals. Brothers this time on a flip out to Watkins who fumbles the ball, gathers it back in, goes forward for slight yardage, and then is hit along the near the left sideline after moving forward to the 32. Normally, Simkus and Lasky all come in for the stop wide to the right in the I formation. Brothers rolls to his left. He's going to keep. He cuts over near the sidelines and is knocked out of bounds. Close to a first down. We'll see as they uh, bring the ball in. Where they stop that ball. Frank Nunley, the right linebacker. Over for the stop. It's a first down picked up by Brothers. Running to the uh, weak side. The ball spotted out. That ball right now is in the 35-yard line of Oregon State. In motion goes Watkins. Brothers back to pass. Throws toward the sideline. Incomplete. Intended for Grimm, the left end. Quickie pass along that left sideline. Incomplete. It was off Grimm's hands. He reached for it. And so that's Moreland. Again, is flanked wide on the right side. Grimm is split. Brothers back to pass. Again, throws toward uh, the sideline. And this time, the end cutting over. Gets that ball on the play for a short gain. And Sullivan is down the 40-yard uh, line. So that means with the clock rapidly running out here, five uh, seconds to go in the pass. Excuse me, it isn't a dog, I don't think. You know, there's a proverbial dog that gets loose on the field. Somebody has cut loose a lot big out there. Four <laughs> for Oregon State with 35 seconds to go in this half. Watkins is in motion. Brothers Throws down the middle of the ball and complete. Holt is at the 43 yard line. He's down there, and there's a flag on the play. As Holland is down, ball be spotted at the uh, 43 yard line. Nunley came in for the tackle that time for Michigan. The uh, scoreboard clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the first half. Michigan is holding a 12 to 7 uh, lead. A clipping penalty that's against Oregon State. Two to go. His brother's back to pass. Takes one pass, keeps the ball, and now goes out of bounds, stopping the clock. He saw he couldn't pick up any yardage if he tried to go forward. So he uh, went out of bounds, stopping the clock with the ball being brought into the 40-yard line, where it's fourth down coming up, and five to go, and Oregon State gets set to boot here with just 17 seconds left to go in the first half of play. Len Perkitt possession. They don't send a safety man back. And uh, the ball goes sailing far over Sigurd's head as they just let it roll. With seconds to go, it's still rolling inside the 10-yard line to the 8-yard line. That will be down there at the 8-yard uh, line. The scoreboard clock shows the time has run out. And that's the end of the first half with the score. Michigan 12 and Oregon State 7. Second half kickoff in just a moment. Captain Conley meeting with uh, Oregon State Fielders at uh, the middle of the field.
seven to six, the conversion by Timberlake was no good. And then uh, shortly after that, with about two minutes, 44 seconds left in the first half, Carl Ward, after a 15-yard penalty, had set Michigan back to the Oregon State 43-yard line, went to the far sideline at the east sideline, appeared to have been hit on about the 40, suddenly broke away, countered, came back across the field, and could have walked into the end zone for the touchdown that put Michigan in the lead, 12 to seven. And that's where we stand at halftime. Again, the officials for the game, the referee is Ed Wagner, the umpire is Ed Herbert, the headlinesman, Ted Fearing, the field judge, Joe Snyder, the back judge, Everett Bannister, and we're just about set for the second half kickoff, and here again, your play-by-play -play sportscaster for this afternoon, Bob Wolf. Thank you, Bob Blackburn. All set to go now as Bob Timberlake will kick off. The Wolverines kicking off to OSU. Here's the boot by Timberlake. He gets a line drive. It's going down to the goal line. It's fumbled in the end zone by Watkins, and he downs the ball there. So that'll be brought out to the 20-yard line where Oregon State will put the ball in play. Well, we've talked a lot today about these rival quarterbacks, all brothers of Oregon State, who is second in scoring on his team. Kicker Steve Clark is first, but Brothers is first in rushing for the Beavers. Well, the I formation, Oregon State ball, first and 10 on their own 20. Michigan leading 12 to 7 on the ball game. Brothers back to pass. He throws. It's complete to the 33-yard line. Glenn Furkatech leaps up to make the catch to the 33. Is hit him down by Lasky and Sigur on the play. And Furkatech then goes out of the ball game. As Sullivan comes into the uh, split back wide to the right as Brothers goes out to his left and he's hit and pulled full on. Michigan bursting through Bill Lasky, number 83, coming in for the stop that time, and he threw Brothers for a loss. Lasky is a 217-pound uh, senior, began his career as a halfback, and he uh, switched to an... in that time, the linebacker Cicchini and Bill Keating, the right tackle. So it's third down, that ball barely brought back to the line of scrimmage after the first two plays. It's third and ten to go, the ball right now just nosed up to the 33-yard line. Once again, Moreland is spread right as on a quick opening play, first into the line is Watkins, and Watkins pulls his way forward across the 40 to the 41. Stopped at the 41-yard line, and there's little Watkins, the ball carrier, Cliff Watkins, a 5'10 junior, who is certainly one of the most improved players this year on the Oregon State team. It's fourth, three yards to go, the ball just across the 40, and Perkitich is back in punt formation. Safety man is number 18, Sigger, waiting for the snap from center. Here it comes, and Perkitich meets the ball. It's an end-over-end kick. Sigger waits for the ball, gathers in the 18, cuts to the 20. Now he swings back to the 15. He's running deep, and he's hit and pulled back all the way to the 12-yard line. He tried to circle his way clear, but couldn't do so. And Oregon State came down and got him on the play as Jerry Neal came in to lead the surge after that 45-yard punt to down him on the play. So now Paul becomes the 12th. Bob Timberlake directing that wing to Timberlake this time gives to Folk, and Folk running from the uh, halfback spot is hit as he gets to the line of scrimmage and goes down with little or no gain on the play. Ward is coming back in the backfield now for the Wolverines, and Henderson is also coming in. Out of the ball game comes last year, out of the ball game comes Ryanfoot, and just about 10 to go. Second and ten to go. And this time the give is to the halfback Ward. Ward moves forward to the 15-yard line where he spills. On the play this time, coming up for the stop, was the uh, big guard on the team, Warren Cole, who came in for a hard stop on the play. And this time for Michigan. Going back to pass is Timberlake. He throws to Henderson, completes to Henderson, who takes the ball out of bounds on a short pass as he takes out of bounds on the 21-yard line. Short pass to the big end, John Henderson, out of bounds just across the 20 at the 21. Score of the ball game is Michigan 12, Oregon State 7. Kemp, waiting for the stop from center, gets off the kick. Good spiral going toward the sidelines and going out of bounds. Kick barely 
across the uh, midfield stripe on the angle as it went out of bounds. And it will be uh, brought in, put in play on the Oregon State 48 yard line. So as the Oregon State Beavers take over right now, first time is flanked wide to the right. The left end is split. Brothers, this time the draw gives to Watkins. And Watkins is hit and brought down for a loss on the play as Bob Milky comes in for the stop along with Bill Lasky for the Michigan Wolverines. Ball spotted right now at the 46-yard line. It'll be second and 12 to go. The coast go at it. This time in the uh, I formation, Brothers goes back to pass. He throws to Moreland, who makes a dive for the ball and gathers it in right at the 49-yard line. He made a fine dive of the ball, and he was right down on the ground as he gathered in the ball on the catch. That ball spotted at the 49, still in Oregon State territory. Perkitich comes in at the end spot. Sullivan goes out, and it's third and eight to go for the Beavers, who trail the ball game by a score of 12 to 7 to Michigan's Oregon State. Right at right halfback is flank. Back to pass goes. What is he being chased by Simpkins? Number 70 gave chase. The right guard, right tackle combining to clash through there and throw brothers for a loss. Bob Wolf, we're seeing right here one of the reasons why their line is put on today. And now it's punt formation. Perkitich with a fourth and 20 situation. Back to punt. And the punt is blocked by Michigan. Two points, and he looks like he may be short, or 
kickoff, and Watkins takes the ball the five back to the 32-yard line, while Oregon State takes over first and ten. Brothers pass, and that it is incomplete, intended for Bob Grimm. It'll be second and coming up and ten to go. Watkins taking the Timberlake kickoff is a five-yard line, moving it 27 yards to the 32, and it's second and ten now. Just edging that ball over on the two-point conversion try to run up the uh, last two points. Brothers back to pass, throws deep, incomplete. Intended for Bob Grimm, who was being closely guarded by Dick Reinfuss on the play. So that makes it third down. They like to drop those ends off also. Uh, Conley and Lasky to help protect in pass situations. Here's a draw play, and again, this is Shaw. Shaw cuts off the right side and is knocked out of bounds after crossing the 35-yard line. Drew out of bounds to the 38-yard line by Rick Volk of the Wolverines, along with Tom Cicchini. So that makes it fourth down coming up for Oregon State. And in for the uh, Oregon State Beavers, we have Perkitich. Sigur goes... 38-yard line in state territory as Perkitich is back to do the booting. As a snap from center, here's the kick. He gets off a long, beautiful spiral, carrying all the way down to the 10. Sigurd back to the 15 to 20. Always hit hard as he crosses the 20-yard line. Coming down was Norm Witten, big number 78, for a clashing tackle. The 235 pound, six foot two junior. And the ball he spotted the 22. That was a 52-yard boot by Perkitich. So the Michigan Wall on their own 22. First down play. And the gift this time is to Ward. Ward goes off the left side and moves that ball from the 22 to the 29-yard line before Jim Smith comes up to make the stop for Oregon State. This Ward has been a fine runner. And oddly, Ward, who has been known during the season for his blocking, has had but 90 this afternoon, and he is certainly cashing in on it. Timberlake back to pass. He throws, and it is complete to Detweiler. Detweiler's in midfield, the 45, and he's knocked out of the 42-yard line. Coming up for the tackle that time was East, along with Sieg and Esplin. For the Wolverines on the Oregon State 42. This time it's both the ball carrier, and as he tries to cut in off his right tackle, he spills and goes down after a gain of a yard on the play. Ball spotted at the 40-yard uh, line. Gould and Rule came in for the stop for the Oregon State. Michigan 20 and Oregon State 7. 3.39 to go in this third quarter of play. Timberlake slides, keeps, and goes forward across the 35 to the 34-yard line. Big 6'4", 215-pound back. He's tough to bring down. Timberlake has been four to go. In motion goes Volk, the left halfback, moving off to his right. Timberlake back to pass. Throws down the middle, incomplete. And there's a flag on the play. State 25. There's a wide pitch out to Ward. Ward off the right side. Going in on sidelines and picks up good yards before he's knocked out of bounds. How that fella can scoop this ball to the 14 yard line. Tom Mack came over to lead the interference on the play. He is the son of Roy Mack, the Cleveland Indian baseball fan. And he opened up that right side for the Wolverines. And this time, a gift to the uh, fullback kicker who rams his way forward inside the 10 to the 8 yard line. Dave Fisher, who is a shorter than 10 times, fired 10 back, ramming his way forward. And he'll put it down. The ball on the 8. This time, once again, it's a There's the boot. There's a flag in the play, and he kicks. 
Sullivan out of M spot. Out of the other quarter, two and a half. Bob now we're set to go with two new ends in the ball game, a new quarterback and Shaw, a new fullback in motion. On the draw play, the ball is given to Booker Washington, and he is thrown for a loss. Coming in was big number 94, Jerry Mater, to lead the charge for the Wolverines, the 6 way 225. Lost on the play, fourth quarter of play. This time it's clean back to pass, and he throws deep down the middle and is incomplete. Sigger, the defensive back, made a dive for that ball. It was intended for Scott Miller, the left end, and it was almost intercepted. Simkus put on the... 11.52 to go in the game as Brothers rolls out behind good in the fence and slips as he tries to turn the corner and goes down the ground at the 22-yard line. Fourth down coming up, 14 yards to go. A lot of the aspects of the Arlington State high formation resembles the old single wing in many swings out to help lead the interference. Back in punt formation is Perkitich. There's the uh, boot by Perkitich. Gets off a fine kick. Right foot gathers it in on the 35 and moves back to the 46-yard line before he's brought down. 42-yard boot that time. Dick Reinfoot is a fellow who injured his ankle severely during the year in the Illinois game. Thousand yards fewer than the Wolverine offense gained. Maven tough to score on today. Timberlake rolling with the ball. Keith gets to midfield, goes out of bounds at the 46-yard line in Oregon State territory. Hartman came over to knock him out of bounds. In the Rose Bowl, beating California 14 to 6. They're trying to keep their record on Sully. Timberlake back to pass. Now decides to keep the ball. Back to the line of scrimmage to go. It keeps going to the 40, to the 35, and tight ropes his way down the right sideline before being knocked out of bounds to the 32. And Norm Whitten finally goes Timberlake out of bounds. It's a first down for Michigan once again. Bob Wolf is one of the reasons why Timberlake was a consensus all American back. The fella is back to pass. First in 10, the ball started at the 31. Timberlake this time hands up to Detweiler. Detweiler goes off the right side and goes forward to the 23 yard line before he's dropped on the play. The blocking was left that time by Butler and by Kai. Osberg came in for the stop. And it's second man coming up. Second and three. Timberlake flies to his left, keeps the ball. He's at the 20, the 15, the 10. He's at the 5, keeps going to the 3. And it's game over for the He just kept pulling this way in, dragging two tacklers with him as he went in on the left corner and went over the score. Kickoff, Arlington State puts the ball in play on the 32-yard line, and Watkins makes the carry from the 32 to the 37. They kick off a short one, second and five, and the ball is in the Oregon State 37. 
They trail 34 to 7. Queen in the eye, back to pass. Rolls down the middle and is complete to Morland. Morland is down at the 48 yard line after making the reception there as Chiquiti and Sigurd come up for the stop. That 23 yard touchdown run by Bob Timberlake. Timberlake keeping the score. They went 54 yards in five plays. It's first and 10 for Oregon State. Queen throw is complete to Miller, and Miller is down in his tracks after catching that short pass. Shakini and Reinfuss come up to make the stop of the Wolverine 46-yard line. And four to go. Shaw in the backfield. And the uh, flags go down before the play gets on the way. be a uh, penalty coming up as it's being stepped off against Oregon State. Second and eight yards to go and motion goes Watkins. Queen out the pass, looks, throws, and it is incomplete intended for Moreland. Their flanker back. Yerby came in on the play defensively for the Michigan Wolverines. Michigan coaching record on the coast over the past 10 years and wins, losses, and ties. Back to pass goes Queen. Throws down the middle, and it is incomplete and almost intercepted. Rick Volk, number 49, made a dive for the ball, almost intercepted off the hands of Moreland, who barely had his fingertips on the ball. This Volk came up, so with fourth down and nine, Oregon State decides to run with the ball, and as they go off the left side, they have not picked up the yardage for the first down. Brothers was the runner, and he has run out of bounds after going forward to the 45-yard line of Michigan, but Lackland versus Texas. All right, we're all set to go as Evershevsky hands up this big hole, and Fisher finds his way through it as he goes forward all the way to the 43-yard line, and Oregon State territory for a first down. Abilovich makes the stop there. In at the end spots right now, we have Craig Curtin at a halfback, Lee at another halfback, and Evashevsky. Gibbs is to Lee, number 41, he's at the 40, and he is out of the 38-yard line. Lewis Lee, who is 6'2", 190 pounds. Bill Muir is gone in this game. Chuck Luzica is in. This time, the uh, handoff is to Dick Wells, who goes off the left side, moving that ball forward to the 36. Wells' dad, Robert Wells, is on the 1933 Wolverine squad. So we have a brand new Michigan team in there, getting their taste first down for the Wolverines. And a plunge off the left side by Fisher is close to the first down. Let's see whether or not he makes it as he goes forward for about two and a half to three yards on the play. It by inches. It's fourth and inches to keep possession of the ball. And there's a plunge by Fisher, which looks like a pick up the first down. However, there's an illegal motion signal being given down below on the field as the flag goes down. So Michigan, guilty of illegal motion on the play. Dave Fisher scored two touchdowns this past year. He's a highly heralded. Evashevsky back to pass, he throws, and it is complete. Breaking the sideline catch, taking the ball out of bounds right with him is Craig Kirby, who caught six passes this year, and it's a first down for Michigan. Kirby making the catch. Oregon State has experienced the same difficulty today. This time it's Barry to win, he fumbles the ball, and it's recovered by Oregon State. takes over on their own 32-yard line. Dennis Rosario, a big stop. And now it's Oregon State's ball. Here's a pass that is completed to the 42-yard line. Miller, number 87, taking that pass. Gordon Queen doing the throwing. Mike Bass, number 15, who has also just come in the ballgame for Michigan. 
been able to gel against the Wolverines in the second half of play. Green back to pass. He's being rushed. He's filled for a loss. Green filled back to the 34-yard uh, line. Coming in that time with the tackle, Rich Hahn, number 65. Don Bailey, number 55. Hahn, the fine uh, tackler, was injured earlier this season. Had a knee operation, and he, too, is back in action. And 19 to go. In motion goes Coston. Queen gives off to Shaw. Shaw's to the 40, and he's doing his feet at the 45 with fine balance, and finally goes down at the 47-yard line. He's an excellent ball carrier. And although he's been injured a great deal of this year, Shaw has been giving a good account of himself. It was a good running call on that play. It's third and six, Queen back to pass. Throws a screen pass to Watkins, complete. Watkins is at the 40, Watkins to the 35 and the 30, and it's knocked out of bounds. He crosses the 30 along the near sideline. Knocked out of bounds at the 26 yard line. Wally Gabler, come over to drive him out of bounds. First down, waiting minutes of this football game. Queen directing the team, just uh, his last game. And the give this time is to Watkins, who slants off the left side. Watkins going forward to the 23-yard uh, line. is met by Dennis Flanagan, number 64, for next spot. It's second down. The Arlington State fans are chanting, we want a touchdown. Queen throws a beautiful catch to Scott Miller, complete at the 14. Particular beautiful play because Miller slipped and fell, and while he was lying on the ground, Queen had to hit him right where he was and did right where he had fallen. However, there's a flag on the play, a personal foul against Oregon State for 15 yards. I understand, but he has and has done a fine job. So it's second down coming up, 15 to go. The ball is on the 40 in Michigan territory. Queen back to pass. He throws to Watkins. Watkins at the 35. Flips as he tries to cut back toward the center of the field and goes down at the 31-yard line. Gary Schick came up along with Barry DeLynn for the stop. At the 31-yard line, there's a minute and 47 seconds left to play in the ball game. Runs out on the Rose Bowl game. Green, back to pass, looks, throws a little flat pass to Shaw. Shaw is at the 30, cuts the corner at the 30, goes to the 25, and as he tight ropes down the far sideline, is knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Coming over is Slate Wilhite, along with Lewis Lee to drive him out of bounds to rack up more points on the scoreboard. Fourth and five. Green back to pass. He throws that it is complete. Miller once again latches on the ball. He's driven out of bounds at the 18-yard line. It'll be very close to a first down. We'll see whether or not they pick it up. It's an before this ball game comes to an end, trying to score another touchdown. Waiting for the measurement. First down for Oregon State. So it's first and ten to go. Rolling out is Queen.
complete as flags get out of the play. Grim, the end going out. Looks like there may have been 12 men on the field that time. Queen directing the high formation back to pass. He throws to Coulson. Thank you. 